Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And we're out on another review. Uh, this one, uh, the 2024 Honda CB650R. This one's not only, uh, this is the one with the, the, the new E-clutch. So quite keen to try that out. So far, so good. I mean, he literally just jumped on the bike. So just trying to gel with the bike a little bit and uh, adjust those mirrors a little bit. So we can see what, what I'm doing. Well, we'll just use the clutch then. <laughs> but yeah, my first impressions. Very nice, very comfortable. Lovely riding position. So I'm just trying to get used to this. It completely throws your brain off. Not sort of using the clutch. It acts like like an automatic gearbox. However, it's not. It's... Oh. Hit neutral there. It's um, a kind of automatic, cl automatic clutch. So, hence the name E-clutch and very very smooth up the box there oh sorry my left hand is totally redundant it's totally redundant there i'm not 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 having to worry too much about anything really to be honest it's got the cabled throttle control there as well so there's no not not ride by wire at all possibly to do with that e-clutch arrangement clamped on the side bolted on the side here and what i will do I will pull over in the usual way and I'll run through the full specs of this bike because I'm very keen to, to look around this bike myself. Last review I've done on one of these, uh, probably back in about 2019, 20 maybe. So lots of changes on this one. I noticed it's got a lovely new dash there as well. Very, very crystal clear that as well. All the information you need on there. Nice and basic. It's a very basic you know display there but I'm, I'm quite quite uh, pleased with that you know how that looks I say it's got these uh, new air intakes here as well kind of at the front of the bike I'm not sure I'm, I'm a lover of them that design uh, suspension wise non adjustable on the front there it's got the uh, the shower separate function forks the big piston separate function forks which, to be fair, I'll test all the brakes and all that in a minute, so we'll see, see what the, the nose dive is like on the on the suspension. But don't believe there's any rider modes on here either. You can turn off, disable the traction control there. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, button cluster, very, very minimalistic there. So on the right-hand side, usual kill switch, start button, and you, beneath that you've got the, the hazards switch there left hand side there high beam flasher uh, like i said that's that to, to disable the the traction control there uh, horn uh, i'm not going to push that at the moment and this little cursor here which we can go in and adjust a few things on on the display there it's very very basic see what it's like over these speed bumps oh just very very comfortable i love this this rider position is lovely as well and I, i'm quite a lover of these cb650s there is another uh video on the channel feel free to watch that. i'll put a link in the corner but yeah wait till the end of the, the end of this one before you do but yeah like i said it's been revised so this i think i believe the suspensions this new show of suspension as well uh, gear indicator on there with a gearbox even like going down the box as well it's very very smooth and I, and I, I, I just sort of found out as well that it's not like over here <laughs> nice. that to have that e-clutch system is any like an additional £100 or thereabouts so I mean you could you could have this model with um, you know the standard 650R and you could put a, a quick shifter on it it's not a blipper it's just a quick shifter so yeah if you I don't know why you would though really you're going to be paying more for the quick shifter and you've not got that down shifter either I'm really loving it really to be fair We'll wind her up in a minute and we'll test the brakes, see what they're all about. Single disc on the front there. I 
on the Nationals. And they've got plenty of pull. Like I say, you're not going to win any awards for speed. However, more than ample for what you need in this day and age. And I think you're looking, I will, like I say, I will run through all of the specs, but I'm sure you're looking at around, say, 90 bhp, something like that, on this, on this machine. Knock it down a couple of pegs. Very, very slick through that gearbox. So far, so good. Very nice Honda. Uh, it does stick out a little bit on the side there. However, that wouldn't worry me at all. It's clear of my legs and I don't think it looks unsightly at all. We'll try those brakes out, nothing about front one. Yeah, fairly decent. We'll try the rear. Uh, yeah, so not bad as far as rear brakes go. Never really brilliant. Just the front and the rear up to 60 mile an hour. Yeah, plenty of stopping power there. Nothing to worry about. Quite impressed there. I'll tell you what, another thing I have noticed is how flickable this bike is, how manoeuvrable. Slow down back to the 30s. We'll see what it's like when I come to a stop here, which will seem a bit weird for me, not, ugh, not pulling the clutch in. I'm trying to resist pulling the clutch in there. It's got that light on there, the green light, so we know that the e-clutch is engaged. And then when you wind it, a little bit of a little bit twitchy there when you open the throttle, but I'm quite liking it to be fair. I mean, like, like I say, they, I have rode a lot of Hondas with the the DCT gearbox. Now I'm, I'm a lover of those. I really do like the DCT. The DCT gearbox is very smooth um, and. This is a lot cheaper option, you know. This e-clutch. I think they're going to. I think. I really do think they're going. They're going to. They're on a winner of that because for the cost of it. I mean, it, I will run through the. I've got the, the cost of this road down, so I don't want to make any mistakes. I'll run through the specs in a minute. We'll pull over and run through them. I want to have a look around the bike. I mean, this would make an absolutely amazing commuter bike as well. You're talking like, you know, keep your fuel costs nice and low and excellent for, you know, for um, making progress through traffic. Yeah, very, very, very impressed so far with this. Comes in four different colours as well. They've all got fancy names, but this one being the the black, which, which looks really nice. <laughs> well, perfect per perfect weather to be out today on this machine. It's a little bit windy, but hopefully, hopefully you can hear me okay. Visibility, visibility through the mirrors, very, very good. No vibes, no vibes there. I've got down a couple of pegs. Yeah, very impressed. Yeah, this one being the inline, it's obviously 16 valve inline four, double overhead cam. Nice, very nice. Drop them brakes again. Yeah, the brakes are very good, very good. Rev counter there, nice and clear. Running over, running over the top of the speed there. But uh, the, I mean, it's so uh, sort of spacious around the seat as well. 
can move around a bit, nice and comfortable. Not got a sore ass, mind you, I've only just been on here for sort of 10, 15 minutes, but. Yeah, very nice. Take a left here. Oh, I was just asked because I pulled the clutch in, that's why. <laughs> it does take some getting used to. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, you just keep the throttle open, up the gears, close the throttle, down the gears. Very, very nice Honda. Very nice. We'll have a look, see what braking system we have on here. I'm not sure what they are, can't see from here. We're, doing, we're now doing 40 mile an hour and the revs are at 3,000 exactly. 3,000 RPM. And we'll run her up to 60 along the uh, the national. See what in, in, uh, see what we're getting there. See what she's revving out at. No vibe through the foot pegs or the seat. We'll take her up to 60. There you go, 60 mile an hour. And the revs are sitting just under 4,000. So very quiet. Not buzzing away there. Knock her down a couple of pegs. Yes. Very nice. Really is nice to see the sun today. Yeah, I think they've done a very good job. The exhaust sounds quite quite nice as well, I can hear that. Not, not uh, overly loud, but you can hear it just buzzing away there. Very quiet engine as well, this. A very quiet engine. And they are very smooth, the inline fours. Very, very smooth. Not really, uh, there's not really much not to like about the CB650R. But yeah, so far so good. Down the box. So you, you can just pull the clutch in and then you, you're basically riding like a normal bike there. Like, a, you know, the conventional, in the conventional way. Which the clutch is very light. That is a cabled clutch. It's not a hydraulic clutch. And the, it's obviously cabled throttle control as well. So... No road ride bike wire, well, I think I've already said that anyway. And that, that will be to do with your, <coughs> excuse me, your e-clutch system. It's good to see as well that suspension wise, they got the shower, big piston forks. Take a left down here. See, I'm just using the clutch there. Um, no real need to use that at all, so just forget, just forget about that. Completely take that out of the equation, which is does feel a bit weird. Because I mean, I've got I, I own a bike and it has a quick shifter at the blipper, and obviously when you come to a stop, you still have to pull the clutch in, obviously. But the, with this system, this e-clutch, you don't, you don't actually don't. You physically just. Just leave that well alone. Perfect for these country roads as well. I say we'd make an absolute great commuter machine. Plenty of performance there. It's not massively heavy either. Horn. Yeah. No problems. Right. Let's just pull in just up here. And we'll run through the specs. <laughs> it's very hard not to use a clutch at low speeds. <laughs> it's really difficult. Let's pull up over here out of the way. 
not to cause any bother anywhere. Right, so no clutch. I've stopped the bike. We're in gear. Yeah. Very, very smooth that, very smooth. It doesn't it doesn't just launch. Obviously you don't want to give it too much beans, but right, side stand. Let's cut the bike out obviously. Right, well here she is then. The 2024 Honda CB650R with uh, the e-clutch system. So the engine is a 649cc liquid-cooled four-stroke 16-valve double overhead cam in line four. Really, really nice finish on there as well. Um, yeah, liking that. That's all that e-clutch system there on the side. So it does stick out a little bit, but I don't actually think it's a problem. I think it's, um, yeah, no, no issues by the looks of that. Lovely, good you know, high quality finish to the bike there. So power of the bike will give you 70 kilo kilowatts, which in my maths is about 94 bhp. And that's at 12,000 RPM. Torque, 63 newton meters of torque at 9,500 RPM. The bike will redline, and that'll top out at 12,000 RPM. So this features Honda's HSTC, the select selectable torque control, which is on that button there, uh, if you wanted to turn that off. So as we said before, the gearbox is a six speed. It's a wet multi-plate clutch system. It also has the optional, the option of a quick shift. That's if you didn't have this, this uh, Honda e-clutch system on the bike. Uh, suspension, so front suspension is that 41 millimeter. Um, show a separate function, forks with the big piston, the upside down forks. And I love, I do love them in the gold. They look very nice in the gold, to be honest. So. Very nice. Actually goes well, the, the colour of that, the engine there and the, yeah, it goes very nice, goes very nice with the bike. Rear suspension, so you've got the monoshock damper tucked away in there, and that has the 10 stage uh, preload adjustment on there. Alloy car swinging arm, giving you 43.5 millimetres of stroke. Dual channel ABS, brakes, so the front brakes are 310 millimetre by 4.5 millimetre disc with a radial four pot caliper, a Nissin caliper, so very good. Oh, it is a twin disc on here. I said it was single earlier, so I got that wrong. So it is a twin disc on here, the twin, yeah. So two four pot calipers there. Uh, rear brake is a 240 millimetre by five millimetre disc with a single pot Nissin caliper there. Wheels and tyres, so 17 inch on the front and rear uh, wheels. So the tyres are Dunlops. Uh, on the, so on the front, you've got the, the 120 section on the front and on the rear 180. So di dimensions and weight. The frame type is a steel diamond type. The length is 2,120 millimetres. Width is 780 millimetres. The height is 1,075 millimetres. The caster angle is 25.5 degrees. And the wheelbase of the bike is 1,450 millimeters curb weight so yeah just over 200 kilos uh 205.8 kilos according to the honda website seat height is 810 millimeters so i found that okay i mean i'm five foot seven five foot seven so no issues there so the fuel tank 15.4 liters giving a claimed 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers new designed instruments I'll turn on the dash there a new design, in, new design instruments uh, given full LED lighting also. Very nice. Quite like that, that headlight design. That's new, I think, as well. Not, so I'm not too sure about these air, air intakes here poking out the side there. I'm not so sure about them, but maybe that would grow on, on you there as well. I think you'd have to have a radiator guard on there just to be on the safe side. So TFT, five inch TFT, full color screen and it includes the Honda road sync so you can pair with your phone and digital speedo and taco dual trip meter fuel gauge clock and gear position indicator backlit switch gear which is very good to hear because a lot of bikes now don't tend to have that um i don't think i've owned a bike with it to be fair so very good honda for that colors comes in four different colors uh red black metallic smoky gray and green metallic they all come with fancy names, so you're not sure on what their actual names are. 
Uh, recommend a retail price of around 7929 according to the Honda website, but there probably is some deals on if you look. So, yeah, you can see the lovely good fin lovely finish there on the engine, and I'm, I'm really, really liking that. Uh, Honda have done a great job again in um, delivering high quality. So, uh, looking very, very nice. Got those running lights on the indicators there. Hopefully you can see that with the camera, through the camera. Nice levers there, adjustable for the span. Very nice. Quite like the finish on the paint as well. Very good quality. There's a tank pad protector on there. I don't know if that's extra or whether that actually comes with the bike. Um, I think personally, so my pros, it's very easy to ride, especially with the E-clutch. It takes a bit of getting used to. Um, it's got a lovely rider, riding position as well. Very comfy seat, which, like I said before, would be great for commuting. Um, any cons about the bike? To be fair, not that I can really think of. The only thing I will say is it's slightly, slightly notchy downshifting. But that could be to do with, and this is just my opinion, could be to do with the the cabled throttle. Obviously, it's not got an e, it's not got a ride-by-wire throttle control, you know, control to the ECU. So it could be that, could be a little bit of play in the throttle there. Um, and also, I'd also be interested to know on whether you'd get any wear at all, any additional wear on the clutch plates due to this. And I'm sure Honda have put a lot of a lot of engineering and testing on this system so would time will tell with that but very good very good very very good so yeah there she is the honda cb 650r e-clutch i love this exhaust i love the four into one exhaust there the manifold um very very nice touch coming down there all of the the catalytic converter is tucked in under there so you can't really see any of that a nice little stubby exhaust down there Really good quality finish on the swinging arm. Really, really good finish on the, uh, the casings. Also looks very easy to um, to maintain as well, hence this being the naked bike. Okay, so there she is. I think we should jump back on and ride some more. So this seat height for me, I mean, I'm, I'm flat footing on the deck here, which I kind of like, fills me with loads of confidence. Uh, right, okay, so side stand up, no dramas. I'm actually in gear at the moment. So it'd be interesting to see if you could start the bike in gear. Probably not. Actually, I'm not going to try that. So, so basically, you can see the green light on there. So the the E clutch is activated. I'm going to just put it in a first gear there. So it takes some getting used to. Definitely. A little bit snatchy, just a little bit snatchy, in my opinion. But yeah, I, I, I mean, to be fair, you, being a naked, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, you know, obviously you've got no fair, and so you're gonna get a, a bit of wind buffeting, and it could become a little bit tiresome after a while. Maybe you could have a screen um, to get rid of some of that. But my first impressions are very good, so very lot a very 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 nice bike so yeah get yourself to your local dealers grab a test ride on one see what you think let me know in the comments do you do you own one of these what do you think well if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing hit that notification bell It'd be great to have you along lots more content coming in the future i don't just do bike reviews or you know i do i do ride outs uh, on my own machine as well so yeah Thanks for joining me today and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.